good night, everybody. Hi. Hi. Good night. Good night. Hi. Good night. How good you night. doing today, huh? Pretty good? Fine, thank you. Fine? Oh, I'm so happy. Melvin, where have you been? We missed you yesterday. What happened? Oh, sorry, I can't. You couldn't? I couldn't be in class. A lot of work, maybe. And yes, because, but I, I have a something in my family too. Oh, okay. Everything is okay now? Yes, yes. yes. Well, that's cool. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm so happy because I, I thought, oh my goodness, it's going to be the last week and he's not here. No way. Yeah. Hey guys, only three days left. Woohoo. Yeah. Isn't it amazing? Right, and Melvin said yes. No more teacher. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very good. Hey, we have two guys wearing hats today. I mean, wearing hats, no, that not looking hot. Wearing hot. All right. I do have. Uh, oh my God, who's talking like? <laughs> Who is it? I think it's Carm is Maria uh, Carmen, right, or Helen? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I have a milker, Mr. Milker Paris, and I do have Mr. Melvin Velasquez. Oh, that's good. Hey, but it's different, right? One is black one and the other one is blue, right? Right? Yay! Very good. Hey guys, let me ask you something. Why? I I don't know, but I want to know why usually guys loves to wear hats why if there's any reason why because jose ramirez he, i have never seen him wearing a hat but uh melvin mamilker umberto so i don't know what's the deal with it truly this quarantine yeah uh, i don't i don't can go you, to cut my hair you have yeah too you, much ah uh, okay so you're not able to go to the hair salon right Yes. Really? That's the reason why? Yes, yeah. The most of the reason. Uh, okay. That is the main reason. The main reason. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't want to show us your, your hair. Your beautiful hair. <laughs> a long hair. Uh, a long hair? Really? No, but not like my one. This is long no, hair, you know? No, definitely. Definitely, definitely no, no, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so that is the main reason. Let's listen to uh, Mr. Amilcar, what he's supposed to say. Okay, tell us, what is the reason you're wearing a hat today? I don't know. <laughs> okay, that is a good reason, you know, guys? This is a really good reason. But, well, I need to go to the barber shop. Uh -huh. I have a little bit long my hair. Ah, yes, like this one, like Absalom. <laughs> when it's when it's long, don't accept orders. <laughs> really? Oh, oh excuse me. <laughs> okay, so that is one reason. Okay, let me ask somebody who, well, I don't know, maybe, yeah, I think I have seen him only once wearing a hat. Carlitos Arevalo, what about you? Do you usually uh, wear a hat or no? Uh, no, no, no. Anyway, but know. have you? Oh, but have you wear once or twice in your life? <laughs> um, yes, just yes. few years ago, but right now I, I, I don't use. It. You don't use it, and why you used to wear it? What was the reason of wearing a hat? Um, <clears throat> maybe <laughs> style. Yeah. I don't um, know. No, maybe I. I think I'm in the in the company. They have uh, several rules about the use a uh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, I, uh, how do you say, uh, me, me costumbre, no I get used to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, you get used to it. Okay, that's good. In the company, uh -huh. I, I, it's an obligation to Is put it? the hair. You have uh, to? Yes, yes. I, yeah. I, I have. You have to cut your hair, you said? Yes, yes, no, no, in the company, but it's it's a uh, it's a uh, no it's a uh, rules mm -hmm. of the of the company that uh, the people don't use the hat. Uh 
Ah, okay. Cook your hair and always when we use uh, uh, the, the, the shoes just inside of the, of the pants. You mean the uniform? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. no, 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 it's not uniform. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, it's your, your casual outfit? You need to put your uh, the shirt inside the pants? Ah, uh, okay, okay, I uh, got it. Mm. We had a serious about the, it's a, we had a, it's funny, uh, Código de Vestimenta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hey, okay, okay, like, okay, norms of uh, vestments of all your yeah, conducts, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand, that's good. And what about Jose? Have you used a hat? No. Yeah. Uh, really? Uh, hmm. Sometimes. I use a hat. A Why? Hat. Why? Uh, uh, when uh, it's a, a sunny day and I have to uh, go out, mm -hmm. it's nice to do. Hey, when you got to the beach, for example? Yeah. Yeah, right? When you got to the beach, right? Carlitos, yes. you don't use a hat when you go to the beach. Um, yes. Okay, in that, in, in that case, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, what about, but only boys use hats or what about girls? Do you think that girls also use hats? Yeah, right? Patty, have you used a hat? No? And a hat? Um, hello, teacher. No, I don't. No? I don't like it. You don't like it? Oh my God, I love hats, my hat. <laughs> yeah, what about you, Adela? I... Um, no. no, no much. Sometimes, Sometimes I use, uh, for example, when I have a building team. Ah, okay. With my coworkers in the office. Mm -hmm. of the office. Mm -hmm. yes. Are you using it? Okay. When I, when I, I went uh, to the beach too. You, when you go to the beach? Okay, that's good. Yeah, so you can look fancy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I use hats all the time. It's, you know what, because I'm really white. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm really, really white. And um, I used to uh, go so frequently uh, before the quarantine, the quarantine right? um outside my house right so i can receive the sun but <laughs> right now i can't or if i go out i of course i go um driving right especially my husband what happens to one drives and so he said once look at your legs what they're wider like really yeah he looked at like snow white or something like that. I was like, ooh, you need to go to the beach and take some sunburn because you, you cannot imagine I'm white, but today I'm whiter. You cannot imagine. I look like, um, I don't know, German girl, maybe. So I need to take some on, some sun. I love it. I, I love sun. Yeah. But right now, I think I'm getting back to my normal color really really white and you know what i hate that since i love my color but why people are really delicate oh my goodness well there are different type of whites but in my case i'm the white i'm the one who's like um i get burned only with the reflect of the sun i get burned like this fast in five minutes i will be like how you say that like sherm like camarón right i'm like that yes so I don't like it's to be difficult. white. Yeah, so that's why I need to protect myself all the time. Yeah. I wish I could be brown color. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, because my skin will be stronger. Yeah. But uh, we are really good in cold weather. Yes, in cold weather, we're fine. I'm really good. Right now, I'm not freezing, guys. I'm happy with the weather right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm hot. Can you imagine? Yes, I know. No, I mean hot, but talking about weather, right? Don't think about, don't think bad, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, talking about these crazy things, uh, let me ask you something. Have you regret 
to something that you have done in the past or something that you're supposed to do, but you didn't do it, and now it's too late to fix that problem? For example, let me, let me give you an example. <laughs> Let's pretend that you visit your parents, right? And your parents have, have bought a brand new sofa. Can you imagine brand new sofa with a really great color, by the way? And your mom might offer you a beverage. It could be a Jamaica use, for example, right? And you're still drinking that Jamaica use. And guess what? <laughs> for some reason, something happened and you psh, splash the juice on the sofa, on the brand new sofa. <gasps> and you said, oh my God, my mama will kill me, but I can fix that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the pillow and nothing happens. <laughs> Have you done that? Yeah? Uh-huh. No? Uh-huh. So do me a favor. Uh, for example, re um, think that that happens to Jose. And what would be the suggestions that you can give to Jose? Uh-huh. What would be the solution that maybe he has done? Guys, do you remember that we use model verbs to talk about solution and suggestions? Do you remember that? Sure. Should. Very good. And what is the other verb? Could. Uh-huh. And there's another one, by the way? Must. Might. Mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, guys. So, basically, today we're going to talk about um, that those situations, but we're going to talk about models in pass way. Do you remember that right now? We have seen models in pass away. But, right, but up to right now, we're going to use past models. You see, that's really interesting. But we're going to talk about two models, would and should, but in the past. And how we're going to use it? Well, we're going to use those when we would like to uh, give opinion or suggestion about actions in the past. For example, let me let you know, um, when you would like to talk about predicaments and what else you're supposed to do, but, well, you didn't do it. So when we're going to talk about that, you will see what I'm talking about, okay? But first of all, do me a favor. Uh, we're going to practice right now the listening part, because this is the, the, um, the skill that we have not developed so much, but it's really important. And I want you guys to pay attention of the situation of this guy. Mm -hmm. And the three possible solutions that this guy could have done. And I want you guys to pay attention on how the past models are used in a real life situation. Okay? In a real basic. Are you with me? Yeah? Okay. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. That's what I need. Energy. Okay. Come on. Now it's not Monday. Now it's Tuesday. Okay. Hey, Umberto. We have three guys wearing a hat today. Isn't it amazing? Woohoo! All right. And we have a beautiful woman, by the way, Miss Noemi. Yeah. Join the class. Woohoo! Okay, Noemi, you came on time, and Umberto as well, because we're about to listen. Um situation about something that happens to somebody and I think Noemi maybe that had happens to you with your <laughs> as uh, with your uh, daughters and son maybe I don't know or maybe with a dog that could be okay allow me just one moment and let me just play this audio for you let me check yes this is the one that I need yes all right Ta guys let me know as soon as you're able to see my screen okay Oof, there you go. All righty, can you see it, guys? Yep. Mm, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I know you're going to listen right now. Okay, do me a favor, I don't want to know if you listen it. Page 102, exercise 7, yes. perspective. Okay. Yes. Cool. 
I felt terrible. Mm. Part A. Listen to people talk about recent predicaments. Then check the best suggestion for each one. What a disaster. I spilled juice on my parents' new couch. They weren't home, so I just turned the cushions over. What should I have done? Okay, what happened, guys? What happened with this guy? What was the situation? He spilled the spit. Uh huh. The juice. The juice where? In the couch. On the sofa. On the sofa. And it was an old sofa? New one. And a new one. Can you imagine, no Noemi, if that happens to you? What you have done, guys, listen to the conversation, listen to the rest, and it will be a three possible answers. So you can give me what will be a, what you have done if you were that person, okay? So bear with me. You should have told them about it. Mm -hmm. You should have cleaned it immediately. You should have offered to buy them a new couch. Okay, what would be the three possible situations, guys? Or the three possible answers? You uh -huh. should clean it immediately. You should clean, you should clean, clean it, it immediately, it. right? Okay, you should clean it immediately. Okay, that is a, a suggestion or opinion? Suggestion. suggestion. Uh huh. And what was the other one? Buy a new one. You should, uh, you buy, should a buy a new one. one. And the last one? Device. Uh huh. What was the third option? You want me to play you it one more time? Tell, yeah. You should tell your parents, right? Yeah, guys, that had happened to you. Ya les pasó a ustedes? Did that had happened to you? No. Something like that. Uh huh. No, no, maybe you because you are really nice uh, sons and nice daughters, right? But some of you have kids. Is that had happened to you, Melvin? <laughs> no? With your kids? No? Did you do something like that when you were younger to your parents? Tell us the truth. Maybe maybe something like <laughs> that, but uh -huh. in, the, in the my brother's cars, mm -hmm. my brother's car, I I feel spill a coke. Oh, go, oh no. Go to car laundry. Uh oh. And he has came from car laundry, or you have to go to the car laundry to, to clean the car? I had to go. Uh, you, so you should have. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Now let's listen to the second situation, okay? I forgot my best friend's birthday. Ooh. I felt terrible. So I sent him a text to apologize. What would you have done? Okay. You see? What happened? What was the situation? He forget the birthday. birthday. Forget the birthday. Birthday's friend. So because he forgot the birth the friend's birthday, oh, what he had done. So like, oof, I'm going to do what? What he has done to compensate that. Okay? Did he call a friend? Send a message. Send a message to, to apologize, apologize, right? Okay. Hey, guys, and did you pay attention about the question that the person made? Which model bear use, should or would? Would. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's put it one more time. But text um, to apologize. What would you have done? What would you have, have done? What would you have done? Is that, is that asking a suggestion or an opinion? opinion. What would you have done? Opinion. Exactly, an opinion. opinion. Mm -hmm. So we use would in the past to talk about an action that is already past, but we want to know your opinion about if you were in my position, what would you have done? Okay, you see? So that's different. The first one should give in a suggestion and would asking for an opinion. Okay, so let's listen. Let's continue listening. I would have called him right away. I would have sent him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. Okay, so what was the first suggestion or the first opinion, sorry? He will send a message. Uh, uh, uh. No, but use the word would. 
Ah. Uh, uh -huh. he, he will send a message. He would have sent a message. Oh, we have to use the help? No, yeah. listen. Yeah. Listen okay. carefully. I would have called him right away. I would have sent and him a nice birthday present. I would have invited him out for a meal. Uh -huh. Sometimes we have to, sometimes we don't. Depends. Yeah, because it's, uh, uh -huh. it's a contraction. Uh-huh, exactly. The girl, is, the girl says, Wuda. Wuda. Uh-huh, yeah. exactly. You yeah. know, yeah, even though she says Wuda, but uh, if, if you write it, you write it the, the correct word, like the way it is. But in the pronunciation, it's different because you said it faster way and you joined two words together. Mm -hmm. So what will, we, what will be the first option, the first opinion, guys? Aha, uh -huh. what happened with the listening part? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to play you three times. It will be only two times. Uh -huh. Okay. Buy a nice present. Aha, uh -huh. one of this the suggestions or the opinions was I would have called him right away. I would have. You see, I would have. I would have called him right away, right? Uh -huh. The second one, guys? Would I send a message? I you would have, will have. No. Uh, uh, that's the first one. No, that, that's not. You the will first have one. sent a nice birthday present. Very yes. good, Umberto. I would have sent him a nice birthday present. And the last one? I will have invited him for dinner. Or... Yeah, almost. Close, close. Oh. I will have invited him meal. out for a meal. Oh, meal. For a for meal. meal. Very okay. good. Yes, so very good. So in this case, guys, we're going to use should have to give a suggestions and would have to give opinions okay but i will help i will give it to you right now the grammar part but it, it was easy to to understand what they said was it easy teacher what what, no. what happened if, <laughs> yes what what, ha what happened if i used for example could or made can be for suggestion or something like that? No, or in, in this case, maybe no. Maybe for the context. Maybe for the context, because right, right now, no. When you give like a suggestion or opinion, and if you would like to use past models, you need to use either would or should. Okay. But you said would have plus the past participle of the verb, right? Okay. To give an opinion should have plus the past participle of the verb to give a suggestion okay okay it's regular okay. ed if it's irregular you know what is the past participle right of the verb let me show you right now an example let me double check right now and pop it up i will give it to you right now the the image so you will be able to clarify it a little bit Woo -hoo, there you go okay cool can you see it guys is it clear yep would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Yeah, it's clear. Is it clear? Okay, cool. Okay, so let's work it out right now. Okay, so what would be, guys, take a look at this. This is a positive sentence, right? Is it correct or not? It's correct. It's a yes, it's correct. Okay, guys, so this is a positive statement. Take a look at the first one. You, what is you? It is an adjective, an adverb, a verb. Like for now. It's a noun. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Or it could be a subject, right? Oh. Okay. So we have, okay. I have to change this one. I, I do not um, remember that I need to change the keyboard in Spanish. Sorry, guys. All right, cool. Okay. Then we have, if you can see, guys, we have should, right? Mm -hmm. Should have. Or also, guys, we have would have as well because basically it will be the same formula would have should have to give suggestion would have to give opinion what we have after that you see we have told told what is the the past participle which verb tell. 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 tell okay so we have the past participle of tell of okay then we have the complement right 
You see? You should have told them about it. Le hubieras dicho. Le hubieras dicho. But you didn't do it. Pero no lo hiciste. It's too late. And to, in, in your situation, I would, I should have done this. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Okay. Let's talk about the other one. Is that okay? Is it easy, peasy, queasy, guys, or no? ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Questions? So far, is it good? Anita? Ronald? Everything is clear so far. So far, is it good? Like water or like horchata, sir? Like Coca-Cola. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's worst. <laughs> okay. Tell me something, guys. Díganme algo. In your case, take a look at the first scenario of the first situation that you still use on your parents' new couch. And so they were in at home, so you just turn the cushion over. Le dio vuelta, okay? What should I have done? Which of the three suggestions you have done, guys? ¿Cuál de ustedes, las tres hubieron hecho ustedes? Uh, Noemi, in your case, you should have told your parents you have cleaned it immediately or you shall offer to buy them a new couch. What you have done? Uh, the last. The last one? The last one. Okay. Are you agree with Noemi, guys? Ah, no. Yes. It's, it's... No. <laughs> No, it's expensive. Oh. It's expensive. Uh -huh. Okay. No, but you, Noemi. Oh, Noemi has. She has a lot of money, right? She's giving a new. Uh -huh. All right. It is, it is depend the damage. Depend, depend of the damage. But look at the image. Is a uh, a little thing, right? Mm -hmm. So maybe it will will be easy, right? To just clean it. Uh, the second. Yes. Uh huh. What about you, Anita, Jose, Carlitos? What you what should you have done? Humberto, what you should have done? There are two. In my, in my case, the number two. The number two. Okay. Does everybody agree with him? Yes. yes. Yeah? Okay. What about the second one? Uh, 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 let's practice a, a reading. Amilcar, read for me Teacher. the second scenario. Yes, Humberto? Uh, uh, should no. have means uh, debería haber. Deberías de haber. Deberías de haber. And the answer, it, I should have cleaning it. I, I, yeah, exactly. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, who's going? Ah, yes, Amilcar, read for me the second scenario if you don't mind. Okay, I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible, so I sent him a text apologize. What will you, what will you have done? Again, porque te comiste two. Go ahead. Okay. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible. So I sent him a text to apologize. What will you have done? Ajá. Uh -huh. Otra vez porque me gusta. No me hiciste la intonation of a question de la última. Go ahead. Okay. Ay, goodness. I forgot my best friend's birthday. I felt terrible. So I sent him a text to apologize. What will you have done? Yay! Fantastic. You see? Excellent. Melvin always remembers, right? Yes. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, so guys, what will you have done? The first uh, possible situation, Melvin, can you please read it for me? I would have. I would have called him right now, right away. From Again, please, if you don't mind. I will have called him right away. Again, please, no quiero que me just call him. Call him de un solo. I will have called him right away. Excellent. Very good. What will be the second possible situation? Jose Ramirez, if you don't mind. The second. Yeah. I will have sent him a nice birthday present. Uh, again, porque dijiste birthday. Birthday is birthday. Otra vez. I will have sent him a nice birthday present. Very good. Wendy, the last one, please. I would have invited him, oh, sorry. I would have invited him out for a meal. Uh, fíjate que lo vas a volver a decir, que tenías que decir him out, de un solo. 
Dele otra vez. Ok. I would have invited him. Oh, sorry. Oh. I would have invited him out for a meal. Otra vez. I would have invited him out for a meal. Otra vez, de un solo. I would have invited him out for a meal. In, invited him out. Dilo, invited him out. Invited him out. Out. I would have... Out. Mm -hmm. I would have invited him out for a meal. That's what I need. Excellent. Así, de un solo. Him out. Hoy sí, ¿verdad que sí? Very good, excellent. Okay, guys, so I would have called him right away, right? Yo le hubiera llamado, ¿sí? O yo lo hubiese llamado, ¿sí? Yes. I'm, I'm giving your opinion. ¿Ven la diferencia entre should have and would have? ¿Ven la diferencia? Yeah? De esas tres, what would be, uh, what you have, uh, what, uh, what would you have done, um, Dani? The number three. The number three. Okay. <laughs> Are you agree with Danny, guys? Or no? No. No. Okay. Who said no? Jose. I say no. Yeah. Why, Jose? Why, why would you have done? I think uh, I will have called him right away. Uh-huh. Very good. Okay. That's nice. You know what, <laughs> dear friend, <laughs> I forgot that today's your friend. Oops. All righty. Guys, but this is positive sentences, right? Okay. What about if you would like to formulate a question? Uh-huh. What do you think? Take a look. Can you see it? Yes. Yes? Okay. So, you guys, if you would like to make a question, we're going to use one type of question that we already have seen. What and what? What is what is the type of question? Well, how do we call this type of question, guys? Double question. WH questions, exactly. So if you would like to formulate that as a questions to talk about things that you should have done, but you do, shouldn't. In this, in this case, guys, we're going to use the WH question. So that, what will be the formula when we're talking about questions? Okay, take a look at this. Let me, let me put it right here. Let me check, let me move it. Yes, there you go. Okay, I'm going to move it here. So guys, we're going to have the WH question. Then we would have should or of course would, right? Depends which one you're going to use. Then we will have the subject, then we will have the auxiliary verb have, and then we will have the past participle of the verb, okay? That will be the formula if you would like to use model, past models, okay? If you would like to make it as a question or formulate as a question. Now do me a favor, take a look at the negative sentence. You shouldn't have hidden, yeah? You wouldn't have sent. What will be the formula for negative sentences? What do you think, guys? Subject. Uh-huh. Will not or should not. Very good. Yes, Mami? And then the verb. And then? In the past, past. Are you sure? That is after shouldn't and wouldn't, it will be the verb. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you. They'll see you. Very good. And then? The bird in the bus. Exactly. And then the compliment, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, guys, would you like to practice this? Let's practice it, okay? Let's practice it together. I'm going to send it to you right now. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me check. I'm going to send it to you really quickly. Oops. There you go. No, this is not for you, guys. This is not for you. Okay. Don't look at it. It's not for you. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, I'm going to send it to you right now. Uh, just let me know as soon as you're able to see it, okay? Because I want you to work in pairs right now. Let's practice my writing skill right now. But before we continue, any questions that you might have right now? Humberto, Dani, Noemi, Anita. Any question, guys? So far, so good? Mm-hmm. Yes or no? Yes. 
Everything yes. is okay? Okay, that's what I want to know. There you go. Okay, hopefully I can send it to you. If not, I will make a screenshot right now. There you go. Okay, let me send it to you. It will be only four. It will be like a dialogue, guys. This is, will be like four dialogues. In Okay, would you, could you please be so kind to let me know if you receive it? Did you receive it, guys, already? Did you? On the no. chat, on the WhatsApp? Oh, no. Yet. No. 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 No yet? No yet. Okay, let me check. Let's cross our fingers. Let's cross our fingers. Let's close it. No yet? No. Maybe there's a problem right now. Yeah, it's too late. Maybe we have a bad connection, right? Maybe. Because in my house, to be honest with you, it's really windy. But what about now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool, cool, yes. cool. All right. So let me double check. We're going to work in pairs, okay? Um we are 16. Okay. No. We are 15, yeah. right? With 15. me, are 16. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let me double check how many we are. Mm. Okay, we're going to make, um, let me check how many, four. Four or five? Yes, five. Five or three, okay? Okay, please accept the invitation if you don't mind. And work on that, okay, in trios, okay? Do you understand what you're going to do, Wendy, Anita, and Noemi? Yes? Yes, I asked yes. the question. Yes. Okay, I cool. asked the question for Wendy and Anita. Ah, but you, but you need to like, if you would like, you can write it down. Yeah? Okay. You have to use the verse in parentheses, right? With would yes. or with should. Okay, cool. I will give you two minutes. It will be enough. Okay. <laughs> I said the, the cashier give me, give me too much change. What should I have done? Uh-huh. Do you understand what you're going to do? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Yeah, of course, I yes. know. Easy peasy <sighs> queasy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, any question, I will be here. Um, only two minutes will be enough. Okay. 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what you're going to do, Hannes? So, yes? Everything is okay? Yes, Everything is okay. Of course, you're really smart. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay, you only <laughs> have one minute, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Change it. In yes. the past participle. Exactly. Only the verbs. Do you understand what you're going to do? I, th I yes. think so. 
You think so? Okay, what do you think you're going to do, Umberto? Well, in the in the in the first one, only we have to change the verb. So if uh -huh. you see the yes. verbs is in the present, so mm -hmm. only you have to change the past participle. Exactly. Wow, you're so genius. Yeah, very good. Exactly, exactly. Because okay. it's already the, the answer and it's already the question. So exactly. Only you have to convert the verb into parentheses into the past participle. What is the past participle of do? Done. 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 Exactly. What is the other one? What is the past participle of take? Taken. Taken. Exactly. So that's what the way it is. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. One more okay. minute and then we come back together. Okay. Okay. Hey. So. Uh, is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course, right? Of course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more minute and then we come back together, okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. Aha. Uh -huh. We have Maria, we have Carlitos, Helen, very good. All righty, we have everybody here. Very good. Oh no, I'm missing. I'm missing somebody. Yes. I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing four people right now. Mm-hmm. There you go. Was it easy, Rice? Right, guys? Was it easy? Yeah, right? Not too complicated. Okay. Carlito, thank you so much for participating. I know that you love to participate a lot. That's good. Woohoo. All right. So do me a favor, Carlitos. Uh, I want uh, dialogue number one, but letter A. Only letter A, please. Ah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the cashier gave me too much change. What, what should I have? Down. Okay, that was really good. Exactly, that's the way it is. But try to pronounce it uh, a little bit more fluently. The cashier. Okay. The cashier gave no. me what? Mm -hmm. What should I have done? Again, the cashier gave me too much change. Say it. Okay. The cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? What should I have done? Where again, the whole thing together. Okay, the cashier gave me too much change. What should I have done? Very good, excellent, Carlitos. Next, very good. Next, letter B. Humberto, letter B, please. Letter B, letter B. Letter B, yeah, letter B, letter B. <laughs> you, should, 
you you should you should have saved something. You shouldn't have taken the money. Very good, excellent. Number two, letter A. Uh, I'm Maria Quintanilla. Please, if you don't mind, girl. Um, I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What will you have done? Very good, but again, a little bit more fluently, please. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What will have what would you have done? Again, please. <laughs> yeah. I ignored an email from someone I don't like. What will you have done? Yeah, what will you have done? What will you have done? Excellent. All right. Don't worry. We're yes. going to practice the pronunciation of, of the reduction of have, okay? Very good. Excellent. What will be the answer? Little B. Little B. Little B. Adela, go ahead. <laughs> okay. I don't have reply to the person. It just takes a minute. Aha, uh -huh. very good. Again, please. I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Very good, but uh, okay, but do me a favor. It just takes a minute. Takes a minute. Okay. Again. It just takes a minute. Okay, the whole thing all over again, please, if you don't mind. I would have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Takes a minute. I do have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Again, takes a minute. I could I have replied. I you have replied to the person. It just takes a minute. Okay, very good. Por tu culpa me hizo la estrella. No, no mentira. <laughs> very good, excellent job. Very good, good job. Letter three, a uh, number three. Sorry, letter A as in alpha. Olguita, go ahead, please. Okay, I was catching. Sorry, I was watching a good movie when my phone rang. What should I have done? Excellent. Letter B, Holder Mercedes. You should have it. Take. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Again. You, you Again. should have taken the call and told the person you have called back later. Very good. Excellent. Number four, Noemi, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, we left all. all, all out trice at the campsite what would you have done again please <laughs> we left all out trash at the campsite what would you have done again please <laughs> oh my goodness yes we, le <laughs> we left all out trash at the campsite what would you have done you the the question is really great pronunciation but the part is the first one Listen carefully. We left all our, yeah, we left all our, see? We left all our trash at the campsite. We left all our trash at the campsite. What, yeah. do, what would you have done? Exactly. I know. <laughs> it's because of all, uh, all our, see? You see? You, you, you just okay. don't notice. But all is all and our is our. So I couldn't listen the word our. That's why I ask you to repeat it. Okay, now do me a favor. Say it everything completely. One thing. Yes. Take a deep breath. And then you can do it, girl. We left our, our trash at the campsite. What would you have done? Yay! That's great, girl. Give me so five. <laughs> Excellent. And letter B, letter B. I have Mr. Milker, please. Hey, you see? Hey, that was a really good rhythm, by the way. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I would have taken it with me and thrown, thrown it away later. Uh, again. <laughs> again? <laughs> yes, again, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. I would have taken it with me and thrown it away later. Yeah, thrown it away later. Thrown it away. Thrown it away. Throwing it away. Throwing away. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Excellent. But let's continue speaking. Okay. <laughs> we have we have uh, practiced the reading. We have practiced the writing. And we're we'll continuing with the speaking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let me give you another scenario. And I want your opinion about the situation. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. 
<laughs> okay, let me give it to you. I think I'm going to send it to you. Let me know as soon as you're able to receive it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going to be so much fun. I want you guys to think about past month, okay? Everything that you have done in the past month. I want you to think about it. Hey, guys, did you receive it already? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. So translate your minds into past month and think about a situation. For example, the first one, something that you shouldn't have done. Think about it. Uh, I mean, uh, Humberto, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to ask you that question, but <laughs> tell me, think about last month, sir, and think about something that you shouldn't have done. Give me the complete sentence. I shouldn't have <clears throat> done this and this and this. Okay? Think about it. Yeah. Only one second, sir. I shouldn't have done. I, I cannot I hear you. Have... Sorry. You can. And now? Can you hear him, guys? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Oh my yes. God, that's only me, the teacher? Yes. Okay. Say it, Umberto. What happened? I don't know, but go ahead. Or you can write it down if you want. And now? I think it's it, it's me, right, guys? Because you can hear him. You, can you hear him? Yes. 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 We can, can hear, hear him. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. All right. So write it down, Umberto, because I cannot hear you. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with me, but I cannot hear you guys. I shouldn't have drunk a lot of vodka. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't have any idea. All righty. Let me check uh, Melvin. Uh, something that you shouldn't have done as well. No, no, that you should have done. I should have done more, sleep more. Mm hmm Algo que si tú hubieras dicho. I should have done sleep more. No, I should have uh, sleep more. Okay, very good. What about, let me check, uh, 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 Maria. Maria. Uh, something that you shouldn't have said. Algo que no debiste haber dicho, you shouldn't have said. Oops. Write it down. Let's practice the writing. Writing the whole soap opera, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yes, I yes. Said, I said sorry to my husband. Why not? Come on, shame on you. <laughs> Are you agree with that guy that already married? No way, right? Mm -hmm. ah. It's a kidding, yeah, it's I a joke. Very kidding. <laughs> All righty, let me check. Uh, Carlitos. Uh, somewhere you shouldn't have gone. Un lugar donde tú no tuviste que haber ido. ¿Por qué no le pregunté a un lugar? Pues no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ajá, uh -huh, very good, guys. You are... Uh -huh, solo, uh, Ronald, que te voy a castigar. Porque el I me lo pusiste con minúscula. 
y shouldn't se te olvidó el apostrophe en medio de la N y la T. That's the only thing. Casi lo ahorco. That's why we're doing this writing exercise. Just in case. Uh -huh. You shouldn't have. I should. No, I shouldn't have so went. What is the past participle of go? Gone. 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 Carlito, yeah. I shouldn't have gone to visit to the, the party. Market. Which market? To the party. <gasps> really? Okay. Escríbemelo bien, Carlitos. I shouldn't have gone. Te doy chance. Escríbemelo bien. Eh, and last but not least, Patty. Patty, someone you should have emailed or called. Alguien que tenías que haberle mandado un email o hablarle. ¿Quién? Ooh. Past month. <laughs> Past month, okay. Remember, past month. Um, mm -hmm. Look, la misma pregunta va a ir para Helen. Helen, someone you should have emailed or called. También tú, Patty. Adela, someone you should have emailed or called. Olguita. Ah. Ah. Anna Milker and Wendy, please, oh, everybody. Okay. I want you to send me that information. I should okay, have come teacher. to the party. Very good, Carlitos. Mm -hmm. Jose, <sighs> someone you should have email or call. Please write oh, it down. Okay. Uh -huh. Aquí se están confesando todos. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Very good, Carlitos. You shouldn't have gone to the party. Excellent, Carlitos. Very good. I should have called my mother. Okay, Amilcar. You bet. Okay. I should have said that we have the best teacher in the world. That is another sentence. BC, I made a mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so crazy, my friend. <laughs> and that's what I like. You're very good. <laughs> I should have called my husband, okay, Patty. I should have called to my boss because I forgot the meeting. <laughs> okay, oops. All right, Adelita, what happened to you? Uh huh. I also need Jose and Wendy and Helen. I'm missing three guys right now. Okay. Woo -hoo. There you go. My phone is alive. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. I shouldn't have called an old employee. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Why? That's good. Sorry for the, the verb called. Uh-huh. The ED, it sorry. Means the ED. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I make you write, guys, because it's not the same to speak than to write. Uh-huh. Uh, you, can, you can send it back if you want, Helen. Yes, I need it. There you go. That's that's my girl. Very good. I'm I'm missing. I should have, I should have, I I should have to visit. No, I should have visited. Uh, Wendy. I should oh, have sorry. visited my best friend last weekend. Erase the two. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you. I'm missing. Who else I'm missing? Jose. Jose. You're writing a soap opera or what? I should have called. I should have called my classmates. Erase the two. I should have called my classmates to work in a homework. Ah, to shit, right? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Very good. And Adela, what happened to you? I'm missing you. Adelita. Annie, I shouldn't have called my friend because her cell phone was damaged. Ah, yeah. Very good, Annie. Very good. Yes. Of course, you couldn't talk to her, right? Because uh, the cell phone was not working. It wasn't working. Very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Who else is missing? Adela, I'm missing your sentence. I should, I should have, uh, I should have called. No, I shouldn't. I know, Adela, I shouldn't have. Acuérdate que el negativo va en shouldn't, no en have. So I shouldn't have called my friend because... She was upset with me. 
Okay. Oops. Very good, guys. Excellent. So I'm going to send you homework. Hi, teacher. Yes. Oh. Yes, Helen, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, the homework will be this situation. It will be a situation. And uh, I want you to think about the possible suggestions, okay? I'm going to send it to you right now, the, the situations. And you need to think about the suggestions. Okay, let me check it out. Tell me, guys, if you receive it, please. There you go. All right. Did you receive it, guys, already? No. No. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Yeah. All right. Very good. So those guys are the possible to suggest situations. The teacher borrow my favorite book and a spill co coffee all over it. <laughs> Oops, I saw a classmate cheating on an exam, so I wrote her an email about it. A friend of mine always has messy hair, so I gave him a comb for his birthday. I hit someone's car when I was leaving a parking lot. Luckily, no one saw me. My aunt gave me a swole sweater. sweater sorry. I can't wear wool, so I give it back, okay? So that is the possible situations, and I want you guys to make suggestions. Okay, suggestions. So what is the mother word in the panel that you use to talk about suggestions? Should. Should, exactly. Remember, should have, right? Pass the past participle of the verb. All righty, guys. The time is over. It's already past three minutes. Okay, guys happy we're almost close to the end of this week so please study because on thursday we're going to have so much fun but you gotta study because that kahoo will be tremendous okay and you cannot imagine it will complete everything so you must okay. study okay I, I will try to make it like a 20 questions will be good right Okay. Yeah. All right. All righty. Okay, guys. It was nice to see you again. Hugs Thank and kisses. You. Hey. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.